Yeah, congratulations on the victory. First fight at flyweight since 2013. How did you feel in there? Obviously a great performance and a great win. Uh, I felt I felt good. I felt really good in there. Um, I mean, you can't beat getting a first round finish, so I'm happy with it. That's great. And um, how was the how was it fighting without a crowd in there? I'm sure that was a first for you. Def definitely a first for me, but it wasn't bad. Um, I kind of enjoyed it a little bit. And, and what type of camp did you have leaving, leading into this? Because obviously we're all under quarantine and everything. Uh, was it? Because I know you and Jakar, you sort of have like a nice setup uh, back at home. Yeah, unfortunately, Jakar was uh, injured, so he wasn't able to do too much besides eat cookies and tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was able to get in with, uh, with, it, with my coaches. Uh, Siege MMA is right down the street. Luckily, I was able to get in with them. Um, they've been awesome throughout this camp. Uh, Henry had his camp over at Fight Ready, so we were definitely trying to social distance the best we can. Um, so, uh, big shout out to Siege MMA and also Fight Ready. Uh, but yeah, it was just a lot smaller, more personal. Um, I really feel like I got to grow a lot since uh, everything was was hands on with me. And is the plan to get back in there as soon as you can, just because you had the layoff heading into the fight? Yeah, definitely plan to get back in there as soon as possible. I got bills to pay, mouths to feed. Absolutely. And just two more for me quick. Um, obviously, flyweight, pretty wide open right now as far as divisions go. Strawweight, a little bit more crowded. Is that more of a reason for you to want to stay in that division? Or will you just sort of uh, kind of see what matchups are presented your way? Uh, I'll kind of see what matchups are presented my way. I like 25, though. Um, I can take a lot more short notice fights at 25 than I can at 15 now getting older. So if they give me a 15 pound fight. Um, it's going to be a long camp, but 25 anytime. And, and last one, uh, you mentioned Drakkar. Obviously, uh, I, I saw on his Instagram stories, he's eating a lot of really good food. Do you already have sort of the post-fight cheat meal all lined up right now? Oh, yeah. They're going to that, that Thai restaurant that we posted the first day we were here. So I'm ready to get done and change and get over there and get some food in before it closes. Congratulations on the victory. Thanks. Uh, we'll go next to Louise Green with MMA Crazy. Your line is open. Hi, Courtney. Congratulations. Um, you said to me before the, the fight that you were aiming to get the finish tonight. How are you feeling walking away with a first round submission tonight? I feel great. Anytime it doesn't go to the judges, I'm good. And uh, she screamed when you, uh, when you got the submission in. How tight was that armbar? Uh, it, I guess it was pretty tight. I mean, she tapped. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, how did you feel going in there at flyweight, not having, and, and the whole kind of, run up to the fight not having to cut those extra pounds um it, i mean it was good i mean weight cuts are weight cuts i mean whether you got five pounds 10 pounds 12 pounds you never know how it's going to go but we got the job done um we're just happy to get in there and be healthy for the fight and you know get the finish um and you said to me before that you know the um the flyweight division is more of like a a raw fight style division what do you think you can achieve at flyweight um i think i can achieve whatever I want at flyweight. You know, it's, it's up to me to do, do my job and, and get the wins. And I, I think I have every opportunity to do that in this division. And is there anyone in the division, you know, stylistically, that would be a dream matchup for you? <laughs> they just asked me that a little bit while ago. And I, I honestly can't tell you the, the top 15 girls. I know uh, Mara was like 14 when she fought uh, Lauren Murphy two fights ago. So I know she's kind of up there. Um, the only girls that I do know that are, that are ranked are, are my friends, um, or I trained with them. So, I mean, it's wide open at this point, whoever they give me, I'm happy with. Okay. So, so no one in mind that you would, you would love to go up against next. No. All right. Well, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'll take our final question from Jay Anderson with Cage Side Press. Your line is open. Thanks very much. And congratulations, Courtney. First of all, um, you know, that is your, your second armbar submission in the UFC. Your first uh, finish since the last one in 2016. Uh, is that something that you've been working on a lot? Is it kind of your go-to? I think Randa was actually a verbal submission as well. Uh, I can't say that it's a go-to. Um, I mean, it's one of your basic submissions that you learn uh, from white belt. So, I mean, if they give it to you, I'm taking it. Whether it's an armbar, triangle, I'm a plata, maybe get a twister in there here and there. I don't know. But um, if they give it to me, I'm taking it. So she gave it to me. Definitely a good one tonight. And I know we talked a little about going up to flyweight. Um, obviously, when you're cutting weight, you're putting some weight back on before you actually step in the octagon. The difference between your weight tonight and, you know, fighting when you're a straw weight, how much was the actual difference? Uh, probably not that much, to be honest with you. Maybe five pounds, six, maybe six pounds, five to six pounds. So, I mean, really not that much considering. I definitely put on more weight when I 
you know, the weight difference from 15 to what I fight when I stepped in the cage in at 15, then 25 to now, you know, um, I don't think it's, it's, it's about, I think I put on more weight fighting at 15. Now tonight coming out, you wore the uh, the Walt Harris Anaya T-shirt, and I don't know if you know them personally or not, but I was wondering if you could just speak a little about that. Um, you know, to be honest, uh, I fought on a few cards with Walt. Um, you know, I know him pretty well. I mean, not that we're friends or anything like that, as far as like we go to barbecues and stuff together. But I know him as a fighter. I know him as an athlete um, and a competitor. Um, I just want to show as much support as I could. If there was fans here, you know, there would be. Um, Nice shirts everywhere, which it should be, but unfortunately, it's it's not possible tonight. Where do my job and support the best I could here at the stadium. Okay, and the last one for me. I mean, I know you've talked about staying ready. Uh, do you have any time frame moving forward? And uh, I think we we spoke before you mentioned Fight Island. You'd be down for that. Yeah, I mean, I I just need I need a week with my family, and my friends. Um, I want to celebrate my birthday and Mother's Day. And, um, man, I'll be back in there as soon as I can.